Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the navigation system for your runtime dungeons. So how you would generate the navigation mesh uh, at runtime when you play your game. So uh, here is an example of what we will do. So here you see my player character and you see the there is the there is the NPC character that is that is following me. So if I switch over to the navigation mesh, you see that this navigation was generated after the the dungeon was built when the game had started. So every time you click a new dungeon would be created. And if I select the NPC you can see the path is gonna take. So if you're building your dungeons at uh, within the editor, at, uh, if you're building it offline, like so, if you just click build in the editor, then you can go ahead and build the navigation from the navigations window, from the, uh, yeah, from the navigations window, go here and click big, it will build it like this. But if you are building, uh, if you're building a dungeon at runtime, then from Unity 5.6, a new feature was introduced that lets you bake this dungeon, bake this navigation uh, at runtime. So for this, you need to do some things like you need to provide to Unity the, the meshes that, that make up the walkable space and Dungeon Architect does this for you automatically. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that the dungeon runtime navigation script is added to your dungeon game object and make sure that it is enabled and if this is uh, if this is enabled then when you build your dungeon at runtime when the game starts uh, then it would automatically build the navigation also for you so i have a controller script here that builds the that builds the dungeon so here i'm taking the reference to the dungeon game object so I can build it. So let's have a look at the at the script. So on awake I go ahead and set the seat to some random number so we get a new dungeon every time we, we hit play and just call dungeon.build and this would build the dungeon and here let's go ahead and disable this for the time being so whenever I hit play a new dungeon is created and a, the navigation is also built Now I have also an example of how to set up a NPC and uh, uh, and make this NPC teleport to a, a certain tile valid location in inside the dungeon and you do the same for the uh, for the player as well. So let's disable the let's disable the game controller so so that we can see how the uh, NPC works. So this is basically a simple script for controlling the character. Uh, what I have here in the player is a character controller and a, a player script. Uh, it just has this uh, this demo. I mean it, this this code. Uh, I just take the input f uh, for the horizontal and vertical axis, and I just provide it to the character in a simple mode, with, and it goes ahead and moves the character. I also have a camera attached to the. character and for the NPC script we have the same like before the character controller and a uh, we have an app mesh agent here and we have a NPC script uh, this script all it does is it sets the destination to the uh, to the player's position so that it keeps following the player so here I uh, have set the transform to the player's location so when the game starts if I go back and enable this, 
when the game starts we'd like to teleport the player to a valid platform so uh, i go ahead and grab the model the config cast them to the grid based dungeon model and config and uh, then we this grid model dot cell contains all the cells uh, of the dungeon so we're going to pick a random random cell and then we find the world position of that cell this is in the logical coordinates we multiply it with the grid size and we get the world position and uh, we can't just place the character on uh, on this world position we we should query the nav mesh and find a valid sample position near this area so uh, we call nav mesh dot sample position and this would give us the uh, hit dot position this is where you should place your agent so all this is not related to dungeon architect but it shows you how to use the uh, use create a simple player controller create an npc agent that traverses over the uh, generated nav mesh and follows another pl player so if we are going to play this and I switch over to this so you can see that our NPC is is moving towards the moving towards the player So I have this sample in the. Uh, I'll be posting the sample in the forums, and it will also be available in the uh, in the next update.